you. <clears throat> distinguished and honorable chancellor, distinguished pro chancellor, member and chairman of the council, acting president and vice chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, and students, my alumni, good afternoon. I'm extremely honored and moved and touched by this great, marvelous, splendid traditional ceremony. And thank you very much for Hong Kong University giving me this great trust and honor. You know, I've been trying to enter university for many times and I failed three times and went in the university. I never thought in my dream to become a PhD and of honor. But I did work very hard. I just failed examinations again and again. And my story tells that those people work very hard but failed again and again. Don't give up. Someday, a great university like Hong Kong University is waiting for you. <laughs> and Professor Tung and Dr. David Mom, I'm very honored to be with you. And thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak on behalf of you. And I also would love to thank Professor Charles for this great words for me and for our people. And I think I was, when I was listening to there, I was not that good. And I think I got this honor, not because I'm qualified. I will work hard to prove that I will be qualified one day. And this PhD degree, I don't think it's, a, it's only an a acknowledge of me, but it's the recognition of the entrepreneurships, of the spirit, never give up. I think entrepreneurs are the scientists in the social science. Scientists and entrepreneurs, we have a lot of similarities. We all take risk. We all want innovation. And scientists know how to do things proper, and business people know how to do things effectively, effectively and efficiently. Most of people seeing is believing. People like us, we believe, and then we will see. When we start our business, we don't have money, we don't have resources, we don't have anything. The only thing we have is we believe the future. We have the dreams. We made hundreds of thousands of mistakes. There is only one thing that we did not make the mistake, that is never give up. And business people talk about money, but I think a real business people, a real entrepreneur, not only know how to make money, but how to spend money. And we do not live for money, we do not work for money. When you have one million, that is your, your money. When you have 10 million, maybe the problem comes. When you have a hundred million dollars, I think that is not your money. That's the trust that the society give it to you. That they believe you can spend the money better. You can use the money better. So a real business people is not making money by making use of the, of the uh, mistakes, makes use of the problems, social problems. A real business people make the money by solving the social problems for the others. There are so many great cities in the world, but Hong Kong is the one of the best cities that I've ever seen. And this is the city I've been here more than just a second after Hangzhou, my hometown. <laughs> Among all the great advantages Hong Kong has, there are three attractions that really attract me. The inclusiveness, the innovation, and young people. I love Hong Kong because Hong Kong's inclusiveness, because it's the open spirit. It's the open trade, open culture, open policy that make Hong Kong today. There is no such a city like Hong Kong in the world, such a small place with so many different languages, different colors. There are so many dif dif different things, but there are so many similarities. Today, young people say Hong Kong, or people say Hong Kong have a lot of problems. Any cities have problems. People say Hong Kong young people have problems. Any young people have problems. <laughs> the way is how to solve the problems, how to face the problems, how to challenge these problems. And I have confidence in Hong Kong. Hong Kong will solve these problems. 
I love Hong Kong young, young people. When I was young, we saw a lot of Hong Kong movies. The dream that one day I would be in Hong Kong. Hong Kong was so great. I never thought that I could, that I could visit Hong Kong. Just a dream when I was a child. And I never think about that one day I could study in Hong Kong. The day when I see in the campus, there's so many young people here studying. I, I envy them. I respect them. And I hope they will be great. And I wish today is a doc, it's not a doctor of honor. It's like uh, the, the day when I got the letter of uh, acceptance for my university that I could start my new career. So because of the inclusiveness that made, we have so many great young people in Hong Kong. Hong Kong embraced innovation. Hong Kong has the best condition environment for innovation. Today, people in Hong Kong talking about a lot about this. Hong Kong will be the, the uh, scientific, new scientific hub of, of this Asia, of this area. Because Hong, the, we have the mainland China, such a huge market. Hong Kong has great people and money. And Hong Kong, I think, does not only belong to Hong Kong. Hong Kong be, does not only belong to China. Belongs to the world, belongs to this century. So I think Hong Kong might, might talking to a lot of young people, that Hong Kong people should not only look at Hong Kong. Hong Kong pe young people should be eyes, the young people's eyes should look at the around the world. We should look at the other people's problem, not only our problem. We should solve the other people's problem too. There are a lot of uh, experts today, but there is no expert for future. All the experts are yesterday's experts. There is only, ex there's the only by working hard, we can be the expert someday. So I think Hong Kong, the innovation should solve the problem for the future. Hong Kong will succeed, but the world is changing rapidly. Hong Kong used to be the hub for trade, but today the trade world, because of technology, is changing a lot. There will be, in the future, there will, the trade is not about B2C, it's about the C2B. The future, con the trade is not about containers, it's about the packages. The future world trade is not about made in China, made in America, it's made in internet. So we have to change. Only by changing, Hong Kong could be the new hub of trade of the world. Hong Kong is also a great center for financing. But Hong Kong, we're, today we're talking about FinTech and tech thing. Hong Kong should be the pioneer, a leader of FinTech and tech thing. So in the past, in the past half year, in the past six months, I met Chancellor for, for almost five times. Every time we discuss about young people, we talk about science, we talk about innovation, we talk about the future of Hong Kong. I think next 30 years, the world is going to change a lot. The new technology is going to change every aspect of the world. If we do not want to make this technology, revolu technology revolution become a social revolution, we have to change from now on. Among all the challenges, I think the most challenging thing is about education. Even if today the best university of the world will face the same challenges, because everything we teach our kids are the things that in the past 200 years, the things we taught them, the machine will do better. So we have to think about what is the best way, what are the contents to teach our kids in the future. We have to teach the kids that win the machines, and the machine, machine will never be able to win the man. This is my belief, because machine only have the chips. Human have the heart. So I think we have to change from now on the education system. In the future, it's not about the competition of knowledge. It's the competition of creative, creativity. It's a competition of imagination. It's a competition of learning. It's a competition of independent thinking. If you think like a machine, the problem will come. In the past 20 years, we make machine like we make people like a machine. In the next 20 years, machine will look like a people. So in the future, it's not knowledge driven, it's the wisdom driven. It's the experience driven. So in the, in the past, it's the knowledge driven, and uh, it's the manufacturing driven, and in the future, it's the creativity driven. So this is what we think the world should be focusing on not only the IQ, EQ, but also focus on LQ, the Q of love. Because only when you care the others, only you care the others that succeed and more successful than you are, you have the chance. 
So in my heart, Hong Kong is the city that all China most closest to the world. And I believe tomorrow Hong Kong will be the city, the closest to the future. And I believe Hong Kong. I believe the young people in Hong Kong. I believe the future of Hong Kong. And I believe Hong Kong University. Thank you so much. And it's my honor to be part of the Hong Kong University. Thank you.